He likes to cry. He likes to express himself. Thing. Definitely one of the first things that you're going to notice as a new parent. The crying has meaning, right? So, without any further ado, here are what I consider to be the six things that your baby is trying to say when they're crying. I am hungry, I have gas, I am sleepy, I am dirty, I am uncomfortable, and number six, I need love. I'm going to unpack them one by one and I'll just try to cover some pointers that I've discovered or things that I've found out. So as you can see, first and foremost, I am hungry. Look. I am hungry is going to be a very common communication between the baby and you. Very often during the day they need to be fed, regardless of whether you're doing on schedule style or on demand style. But sometimes they are a lot fussier than this while they're eating. And when they're fussy while they're eating, they don't necessarily get to the point of being full. So, even though you thought you fed the baby, an hour down the road, if they didn't really get to their fill, they're going to be crying to eat again. So at every feeding, try hard to not give in so quick when they, you know, when they want to stop eating. Sometimes, as you can see, they'll fall asleep at the nipple, and then you just got to kind of like move the bottle around a little bit, touch their cheeks or touch their ears or something, you know, make them try to finish. I only really stop when it feels like he's not latching properly onto the to nipple and it, and it feels like I'm force feeding him. When it gets to that point, I know that whatever progress I think I'm making in terms of getting him to full, he's just going to spit it up or he's going to puke and then it's just going to be the same thing all over again. The next thing we should talk about, guys, is, is gas and gas is pretty serious. Gas is definitely one of those things that I didn't quite realize was going to be such a big deal, like something I had to really pay attention to until it was actually here I am with the baby. You'll put the baby down to sleep after eating and burping, and then maybe like five or 10 minutes down the road, you'll notice that they're crying again. And you'll be like, well, what's wrong? I thought we figured everything out, you know? Your diaper's clean, you've been fed. We were, you know, holding and hugging for a minute. What's wrong? You're tired. They can still have some burps and gas like kind of trapped in there. So don't write it off so quickly as your baby being fussy about not wanting to sleep. Sometimes they have a burp trapped in there. And to your amazement, when you pick them up instantly and you put them on your shoulder, they'll be like, Bleh, and they'll burp it out. Don't we have this issue sometimes, you and I? We do. Sometimes I think you're just being a jerk, but you really have like gas in there, so. Also, there's gas that comes out the mouth and then there's gas that comes out, you know, the other way. One really good thing to do with that to help get the farts out, because those are also very uncomfortable. There's this like little position I like to put him in sometimes where he's like lying down and I'm moving his legs like he's pedaling an imaginary bicycle, it really helps him get the farts out. Yeah, that's pretty much it for gas. Just don't underestimate the gas, okay? You might think that you've gone through the checklist all the way, and uh, you know, gas can be one of those silent but deadlies, no pun intended. The next big thing, guys, that's pretty big, pretty big deal for the baby, is sleep. They're kind of scared to sleep, so when they start to get tired and their eyes start closing, sometimes they'll start crying. They close their eyes, everything gets dark, they're all alone. You know, when it's time for sleep, just really try to ease into it. I know everyone kind of has their own ritual. I'll give you guys three of my little tips right here. Number one, swaddling. Pay attention to swaddling. It's a real great thing to do. You just wrap them up, you get their arms nice and tight right here to their sides because their arms are all like wiggly, wiggly, wriggly all around. You want them to be able to settle down. They don't control their arms yet really, so. Uh, number two is you can actually give them a little leg massage. Squeeze their legs a little bit, the calves, the quads, you know, the thighs, the toes, you know, just give them some touches. Third one, tummy rubs are a really good thing. We noticed that that really helps him get in the mood to sleep. Just give him some rubs starting from his chest, the top of his chest, top of his rib cage, going down his belly button, and then from below the belly button, kind of like around the belly button. He really loves it. Sleep is still a very difficult thing. I mean, I'm not going to tell you. I don't want you to think I have it all figured out. I'm just trying to give you my my little tips, things that have little tricks that have worked for me. Next thing that your baby could be crying about when they're crying, when you're crying, right? When you're a little cry man, is they could be trying to tell you that they're dirty. And when I say dirty, what I don't mean is that they're like, you know, I need to shower and shave before I go out tonight. I mean dirty like, you know, they pooped and peed. So, <clears throat> the main point here, I mean, poop is obvious. When the poop comes out, you know what you gotta do. You gotta get rid of it. But, you 
might have your baby and you think everything is all cool and good and you've, you've given them everything that they need, but you haven't been checking the diaper, okay? The pee comes out a lot and you're not always thinking about it because it's just silent, it doesn't smell. Yeah, so next time the baby's crying, one of the first things you should do, check the front of the diaper. You know, it'll get kind of mushy and you can kind of feel it. You know, you don't have to go in there and look. Also, some diapers have like this ink that changes color in the front. Take a look at the brand that you're using because that's very helpful too. Hey buns, you want to eat some more buns? Are you still eating? Are you ready for burp time? Okay, the next thing that your baby could be crying about, your baby could be basically just telling you that they are uncomfortable and I'm gonna divide that into three different sub categories of discomfort, okay? Number one is temperature. They get very uncomfortable when temperature changes, okay? When they get too hot, and they start sweating, they cry. When their head touches a cold pillow or something that's cold, if you just washed your hands with cold water, it could freak them out and they could start getting upset. Number two in the uncomfortable category is clothing. And by clothing, what I mean is when I put them down to sleep, I wanna make sure that this is smooth. Wrinkles in the clothes, tags inside the clothing, you gotta get rid of it all. Number three, posture. Now this is a pretty basic one. Sometimes the baby will be crying and you're not really sure why, just take a second and just try to look at how their posture is, you know? Is their neck kind of in a funny way? Are their arms like pinched behind them? Are their legs in a weird contortion? Just take a look at the posture and try to correct it into something a little bit more comfortable looking next time the baby's crying. All right, the last thing that your baby might be trying to tell you when they're crying is, I need some love. That's right, babies are people too. It's crazy, but it's true. Sometimes when they've been, you know, lying down for too long by themselves while you're doing some kind of housework or chore or you're taking care of something else. If they've been alone for too long, they'll get sad and they'll start crying. And what they're really, I think, trying to say is, you know, hey, I wanna know, you know, are you still here? I, you know, are you taking care of me? That kind of stuff. It's a, it's a lot of bonding. It's a lot of relationship building in the first stages and you really feel it, okay? They really need you. And the trust that you're building with that baby is, uh, is, really, is really important. You want them to be able to trust you. You want them to feel good when you're around. So that means you have to show them love when they need it. So sometimes they're crying, they just need love. Pick them up, you know, give them a little you know, make up a song. I make up songs for my baby all the time. I'm sure I'm driving my neighbors crazy, but you know, they don't seem to, they haven't come knocking yet, so. In conclusion, what I'm trying to do all day long with the baby for right now, at, he's a month and a, and a couple days old, is I'm trying to get him from eating to sleeping. And everything in between is like all these other little needs and all these other little things that need to be taken care of as well. And it's like a game of whack-a-mole, okay? Because he might have pooped, he might be hungry, he could be crying for several reasons at the same time. But if you just stay calm, run through the checklist, and focus on one thing at a time, untying this knot, untying this knot, you know, whack this mole, whack that mole. If you take care of each thing, I promise you, they will start to get back to being relaxed. I mean, look at this baby right here. He was screaming a minute ago when we were starting this video. Now look. And in a minute, when he starts to get tired, I'm gonna put him down to go to sleep again. And if he doesn't sleep, we'll figure it out from there, right? Anyway, I just wanna wish you a ton of luck with your newborn. You know, you figure it out piece by piece, and it's a learning process the whole way through. You and the baby, okay? You're learning the baby, the baby's learning you. It's a beautiful thing, and your wife is driving you nuts, but that's for another video. I hope that you're getting some sleep too. I hope that you're getting your needs taken care of, because that's important too for mommy and daddy, all right? So you guys have a great day, have a wonderful time, and I'll see you guys on the next video, okay? See ya, bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>